Hey, what's up guys, Nate here. So you, a lot of you guys may be wondering how Apocalypse Rising 2 will run on your computer and this Reddit post answers this. So let's go ahead and read this off. Now that you have seen a handful of APOC structures, you're probably wondering how your potato computer will be able to run APOC 2. I'm happy to say that a lot of thought and effort is being put into ensuring APOC 2 is as high performance as possible, which pretty much means it will run smoothly and it won't lag a lot. And I've compiled this list of improvements that compared APOC 2 to APOC in that regard. APOC 2 has a land area comparable to Reimagined. I believe the map only has slightly more land than Reimagined did. This is because of all the water, of course, which significantly reduces the amount of geometry that needs to be rendered. The parts that make up the train are optimized. He carefully determined the size of the triangles that make up the wide expanses of terrain for APOC 2, and the result is a lot less parts compared to APOC. Buildings will be spaced out more than they were compared to APOC. There's a lot of design reasons behind this, but the strongest is that buildings will have a lot more loot compared to APOC, and they'll be more valuable, so we do not need as many. Overall, buildings are pretty expensive, so I think spacing them out will help a lot in reducing the part count. APOC 2 will include a level of detail system, which surpasses APOC's chunk system in every way. From a distance, only the exterior of buildings will render for you. As you approach a building, it will load the interior. So although these buildings are pretty expensive, you'll only be rendering around 20% of the parts from a distance. This means we have a longer view distance as well, and we hope it'll be significant. Most loot will spawn in containers such as dressers, cabinets, and safes. Loot such as firearms are very expensive, and we can improve performance quite a bit by eliminating the need to render most spawned items altogether. We will still spawn some items on tables and shelves, but it won't be anywhere near the amount that was spawned in the open in APOC. So yeah, that will definitely help with lag and stuff. Loot will be locally rendered based on your location. This is a massive improvement, and it's a no-brainer. Essentially, loot will only render when you're close to it, and the server will keep track of loot that you aren't in range of. Whereas in APOC, if a player was across the map from you, you may have been rendering the loot that spawned around them. I say may, because even if the loot was outside of your hard set Roblox render range, the loot spawned across the map was still eating up some of your computer's resources. In APOC 2, you will never render loot that isn't in your immediate area, which will help a ton. Render options will be tied directly to your Roblox graphics setting. If we find ways to reduce the load on your computer, changing your Roblox setting will automatically apply our own reductions to improve performance. For example, we can reduce the render range of certain assets or even swap assets for the lower quality models as you change the setting. In APOC, we didn't have many of our own options to improve performance, so this is a big step for APOC too. He's confident that these improvements will make APOC 2 at least on pars with APOC's performance, or significantly better. We won't know for sure until we get a pre-alpha up and running with all of the core systems gameplay in place, but I can assure you that if we run into performance trouble, we will make changes until it works. Ensuring the game performs well is one of our top priorities. It's pivotal to nailing the player's first impression. If he gets his way, APOC 2's alpha will be the best early access released on Roblox, and I'm confident our early testers will agree. That's a big statement right there, and I uh, honestly believe that as well. Yeah, guys, so what I like from here so far is we'll have a longer view distance. So they're going to eliminate the need to render most spawn items altogether, and they're going to still spawn items on tables and shelves, but it won't be anywhere near the amount that was spawned in the open in APOC. So that will definitely improve performance. Um, they're pretty confident that's going to run just as good, if not better, than our current APOC. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. These optimizations are really important for games because... If a game doesn't run good for everyone, then it's just it's just not fun, you know? If you can't play a game, if it's too laggy, you're not going to have a lot of fun with it. So they're definitely going to make sure APOC 2 will run good on your computer. So guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button and a link to this will be down in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching and peace out, guys.